This is one of the most intense things I've ever done. I'm allowing Idaho Falls police canine dog Rocky to attack me. All part of his training for a rigorous and demanding job. Apprehending criminals, and in this case a reporter, is just one thing Rocky does. More on that later. But first, tracking down drugs. These dogs all have a really natural drive. Every day, Rocky and his partner, Officer Gabe Klepich, fight crime. And Klepich agrees to show us Rocky in action. So the officer hides a packet of drugs under the back bumper of our car. And in less than a minute, Rocky finds the stash. The dog was just moving along pretty freely. He went past where the, the drugs were hidden. All of a sudden he stops, he snaps his head back, closes his mouth, starts sniffing deeply. That's the kind of dog you want to do this kind of thing. So today we're gonna see him find drugs on a vehicle, which we just did, and then he's going to be uh, apprehending me. Okay. <laughs> you sure you're ready for that? I, I guess, <laughs> I guess. I'm a little nervous, as this Belgian Malwa's bite is bad, delivering pressure up to 195 pounds. But Klepich assures me I won't feel Rocky's teeth through this 80 pound bite suit. Okay, I might feel pressure and it might, might feel like the teeth are gonna break through, but they won't. Yeah, and it might pinch. It might even hurt a little, you might get bruises. Klepich says it's important to keep my hands curled up in the sleeves and to keep moving no matter what. If he's biting you here, okay. keep moving this. Because if you stop moving it and you're on the ground, then he might let go and rebite. And it'll be an adrenaline dump. Because if you look, that dog will be right here. <laughs> okay. So, and he and he's a he's a pretty tenacious dog. Now it's time. I attempt to run into an open field, and Rocky takes off. All I can hear is Rocky's growl, and it feels like he's working his way up my arm to my head. It isn't until I watch the video of the training later that I realize he actually just stayed in one spot. Klepich takes forever to come to my rescue, or so it seems, and I'm stunned at just how weak my body feels. Stand up again. Can you stay up? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Klepich tells me to go wait by the fence while he puts Rocky away, but it seems the dog doesn't want to leave. My legs are wobbly, I'm out of breath, and all I want to do is lie down. All right, so I think I've recovered. As we were saying, this is much more physically tiring than I thought it would be. Yep. <laughs> I guess when you're wearing 80 pounds of suit and you've got a dog on your arm, it, it can take the... Yeah, make you feel exhausted. Yeah, the suit will restrict your movement, so it's difficult just to move in the suit. And then you've got a dog trying to drag you around, it becomes difficult as well. These dogs, um, they're taught to grip and not let go. Right, bite and hold. Police canine dogs have solved an untold number of crimes, and they help keep us safe. Hopefully, you never have to have an up-close and personal encounter with one. In Idaho Falls, I'm Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.